Good day, adventures, and welcome back for another Warf Imperium session here in Ragnarok GGH. We are your casters. My name is MG. Yes. Yes, yeah. let's go! Finally! <laughs> Finally, MG is doing yes. the introductions now. Yeah. Let's see if uh, he can uh, keep up with the introductions in the next yeah. uh, live streams as well. <laughs> I've been actually uh, doing a lot of trainings lately, so hopefully uh -huh. I uh, managed to, uh, you know, nail it in some uh -huh. level. Yeah. <laughs> yes, alright, since uh, you were able to do that, how, are, how is everyone, guys? How are you guys in the chat, and uh, yes. how are you, MG? I'm actually doing good, and uh, uh -huh. pretty, uh, pretty nervous at the first few seconds before we start. But yeah, right now I'm pretty good and uh, I'm really excited for the session for today. Ooh. Yeah, it's been a long time since we last uh, seen each other. I think the last time was Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, for today we're going to have our War of Imperium <laughs> session here in Ragnarok Online GGH. And as you can see, you know, uh, Dominari is still holding Holy Shadow Castle. And I believe they already have the economy of this to 100. <laughs> Right? Yes. Uh -huh. They actually have like a, a high eco on this uh, castle. And it's... I'm not sure if they actually got the seal already. Mm. Uh, I'm very curious if they can actually... Uh, or if they're gonna make the the god items now. Well, uh, I think we'll know. We will <laughs> know if or they already made yeah. the god item. Yeah. Since uh, we're going to receive uh, some information about it if they already succeeded in doing so but anyway though mg you know this is uh tuesday tomorrow is going to be uh ragnarok asia masters quarter final so hopefully you know we can talk about it more in a bit later on mm -hmm. as uh you know shout out your favorite guild shout outs to everyone in the, everyone in the chat right now if you want to comment something you want to ask us about something if you want to shout out your name your friends your boyfriends your <laughs> guilds your girlfriends or whoever you want to shout out in the chat your pets or whoever you want if you're a fan of mg or a fan of just, james uh, yeah just uh, <laughs> just to make sure to comment in our comment section right <laughs> here so kai said uh first kirk said uh I, I can have a <laughs> yeah, Okay. Yeah. Yes, one, two, three. <laughs> Alan Miko said first as well, but you are not first, bro. Uh, Satria said, hmm? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so go LN said the jar. We yeah. haven't seen LN members lately yet. I think uh, we saw a bit of LN members yeah. back in our last. Uh, Last uh, Warp Imperium session last Tuesday, and yeah, Michelle said late. Actually, go here in Fadgood Castle. Aftershock is actually outside of Fadgood Castle. Just uh, maybe preparing to go inside and uh, attack the castle of Adonis right now here in Fadgood. <laughs> yes. Um. Lately, I really uh, like I'm actually following uh, Aftershock's um progression, um from their debut Warf Imperium, the moment that they had like uh, the, the three alliance or four alliance, I think. Yeah. Mm. Then right now, I think the, they're getting a lot of members right now. Um, every mm. Warf Imperium, especially on uh, on last Saturday, I think mm. they have like a really, they have a good numbers on that day. Yes. And actually though, MG, if yeah. you're not aware, you yep. know, we actually saw, this is the castle of Adonis. Mm. So that means Adonis is back in Warf mm. Imperium. <laughs> So uh, I think they've been back since uh, Saturday. I've been ac I actually watched the match, or what happened last Saturday. I've, I've been mm -hmm. uh, spectating the feed while trying to level up my characters. As after Shock wants to go in, Madragora Howling got go. casted. While uh, Adonis is just holding the Fadwick Castle here in the stairs, the Blood Dust got casted on the floor. And after Shock, they're not going to do anything right there as that Bloody Lust will actually uh, remove their chances of a. Uh, surviving the onslaught or the precast that Adonis is doing right there. Yes. If other guilds is using uh, like uh, lo uh, Rokis or uh, Classical Block, Adonis on the other side they're using that uh, Bloodlust. 
And as you can see, Aftershock is uh, going to prepare to push in to the castle here of Adonis. <laughs> while uh, Kim Santa said here, drop is so low. Oh yeah, it is, <laughs> it is slow. But, you know, it, it, it makes it worth it if you get the item that so you want to get. So it means no seals yet? Is that right? Is that mean uh, we don't have any seals yet? That's the... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe. But maybe. You know, it just makes it more sweeter if you get the item yes. that you get, you know, from that mm. very low drop rate uh, chance. Yeah. So if you finally get it... Oh, I have it now. This is it. You know, this no. is a, an achievement. It makes it a lot more rare, right? Yeah. Because the drop rate is so though. Exactly. Anyway, yeah. I think Aftershock is pushing in now. As you can see, Adonis is just holding Aftershock, is actually just trying to push in with them, uh, you know, using those skills, Dragon's Breath, Falseo Heal, will try and survive, Runite is just the only person left, but will get taken down immediately, that Royal Guard is kind of late for his entrance right there, will just uh, probably butterfly wing out. Yes. Again, uh, this is actually one of the uh, things about uh, Adonis that I really like. This oh, 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 no follow-up. <laughs> Oh my god, but that was like a good attempt uh, coming from uh, from Aftershock, um, Krato Sorka. Yeah, yeah, actually a very, a very late <laughs> Magnetic Earth coming from the Sorcerer of Magnetic Aftershock. <laughs> yeah, but he got caught by that manhole and uh, Masquerade Ignorance plus that uh, follow-up Arrow Storm here by this Ranger. Yes. Right. And uh, going back to what I'm trying to say earlier, um... Yes, this is actually what I like about Adonis. Like, they're actually uh, utilizing every class. Like, they're using multiple skills. Um, that's that can actually benefit their strategy. So that uh, that bloody lust, you have uh, the neutral barrier here on the high ground. So mo that's why most of the people are just trying to stack there, making sure that uh, no range physical, uh, no range physical will hit them. And yeah. You actually go to the entrance right now though, MG. There's Aftershock and Opus Day just outside. Alright. So for those of you guys who are watching right now, please like and share the stream. Also, please do follow the Ragnar Online GGH page. And uh, make sure you're also joining or joined in the ROGGH Discord as we have some Discord giveaways, some early announcement there. Um, it's usually announced there before it's announced on Facebook as well. So around uh, an hour earlier <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right yeah. sometimes or sometimes it's, po it's posted on the same time so yeah or sometimes there are announcing the in discord that's not yet announced on facebook so yeah the benefits of following these two pages can bring you a lot of uh things right yes okay anyway we'll talk about the uh future updates later on and uh of course uh some other stuff that we can talk about as well yep and going back to uh, the war Imperium right now um infinix and um after shock is trying to hold the uh, entrance here and dominari is trying to contest uh contest the entrance we have atoy again here coming from dominari and he says he's just trying to create that chaos around the players and right now and earlier by the way um if you haven't seen um one of the archbishop of adonis is scouting the entrance so they know uh, what guilds. It's what? actually good. Ar Ar Archbishop? Yeah. Archbishop is the one scouting. Yeah, yeah. I think he's just using a... uh, yeah, portal. Uh, he just went to the portal, go out, and flag in. Wait, that's a. Uh, it's kind of difficult right there. <laughs> Maybe just a scout just to see, oh, there are people out. Yeah, a or, brave uh, yeah. soul. <laughs> a brave soul indeed. As Opus Day is actually just pushing it closer. Of course, that neutral buyer is also casted there by that mechanic to prevent. Those long range uh, attacks from hitting, but the Bloody Lust will get casted on the floor here, coming from that Shadow Chaser of Adonis. Dragon's Breath will also get casted against nice. Opus Day right here. Well, Opus Day just trying to survive, backing down for a little bit right here, but that aggressive Shadow Chaser from Adonis just uh, messing things up. And uh, Dominari has that mechanic. Is that Dominari? Is that the uh, one mechanic coming from Dominari? I think? Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, Oscar there's a. Uh, Dominari. There's a single Dominari member, single Dominari mechanic just there. And I'm not sure what he's trying to do. Maybe he will go in with the attack here of uh, Open Day and Aftershock. But no, he will, I think he will go in yeah, first and in. probably uh, 
use that suicidal destruction if he can. But after Shock and Opus Day, we'll try and regroup <laughs> here outside the portal of Adgrid. Yes. And this is actually a good regroup coming from um, Aftershock and some of the players of Opus Day. But again, they need to be careful on this position because again, Adonis can actually uh, rush in. And this is actually one of the things that uh, what Adonis likes. If they see that uh, the attacking guild is not ready or they're not pretty set up, they're gonna take that opportunity and rush that stack immediately. Yes. And we have a comment right here. Is this Opa James and MG? Nice hey, look. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Nice look. All right. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, I, I I do that, but that's only after the stream or okay, at the end okay. of the sorry, stream. Sorry, sorry. I'm going to take it there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. The MG Opa. Opa. Uh, Opa is going to If, if you uh, have Lodikai every Thursday, you have Opa every Opa Tuesday. Opa MG. <laughs> Opa, Opa James. MG right here. Yeah. Anyway, uh, you're you're older than me, so it's a. Uh... <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> you. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Dude. Oh, dude. Dude. Going older. Oh, oh. Dude, you're not allowed to say that on stream, bro. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't say the specific age. I didn't say oh, the yeah, specific age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, 22, 23. Yeah, but yeah. someone said that you're almost out of the calendar. Uh, so. I, uh, <laughs> I, I don't know how to react on that anymore. <laughs> no comment, right? No, no comment. comment. No comment, guys. No comment. Okay. Going back. Okay, okay. <laughs> anyway, you can see here um, Opus Day and Aftershock are going to. <laughs> Probably regroup here at the uh, place or at the stairs before the portal. And you can see them at the left because it's going to be tough if they're oh. really beside the portal gates of hell will connect here over brand. But of course, uh, you know, that gates of hell, that sura, <laughs> I think that's your favorite sura from Adonis. Yes. Multiple gates of hell immediately. Probably the mm. very kind tiger cannon to finish him off. Actually, that royal guard oh. gates of hell once again. A and... standoff. <laughs> yeah, and uh, MG, that's your uh, favorite Sura. Yeah, actually, uh, I really like how he plays. Basically, that's but that's why I uh, I recognize that player. Same goes with uh, like the genetics. We have like really good genetics from our regions as well. Not to mention Atoy as well. I think Atoy is a genetic as well. Yeah, so we have that Suras. You have delinquent. You have Versiculo and other uh, Suras as well. So man all. Oh, dude! Hulk. You cannot do that with the. Uh, okay. Oh no! Did Mano the bloodlust actually did he make this, uh, uh, kill me? survive right there? But the shadow chaser, ooh, will try and what? back down Fain Bomb before he actually back down. But bloody lust will affect them for a little bit right there. Okay. And Opus Day and Aftershock, just uh, making sure they have enough space <laughs> here in this castle as Dominare is already forming in here at the entrance of this castle right now. <laughs> okay. I think this is gonna be like uh, really good, and I think Opus Day and Aftershock needs to be careful because again, if Dominari is gonna attempt to uh, go inside, basically uh, Aftershock and uh, and uh, Opus Day will be at the middle, so they need to be careful. Yes, and actually, Sword Guild is also there outside. Wow! So they're probably going to try and. Uh... Do some uh, things right here. In Infinix Reborn, some of the members of Infinix are there outside as well. And uh, multiple guilds are going to Fadgood Castle as Adonis is starting to push out right now. Dragon's Breath after Shock is trying to survive this. Adonis just uh, pushing out, making sure they uh, take everyone out before actually going to the entrance probably of this castle. Or will back down first because they probably scouted the entrance of this castle and know that Dominari is just outside. Yes. Actually, that's one of the one of the strategies that they really like Adonis is sweeping uh sweeping the out, outside of the Imperium, right? I think they've been doing See, you that. Can, uh, you can go outside the entrance of this castle right now, MD. They've been really yeah. doing that uh consistently on on the defenders or on the attackers as well. So yes. I think they need to be careful as well because there might be a sneak attack coming from uh, from a GX maybe or a rogue. Mm -hmm. So they need to be careful. Yes. Uh, if if they <laughs> get uh, attacked <laughs> by uh, these characters or these guilds, it's going to be diff difficult for them to recuperate. Of course, uh, here for the attack of uh, the Dominari, 
they actually prepare first or regroup first at the entrance of this castle made sure everyone is in before pushing in together here inside as Dobinari just preparing to attack the castle of Adonis right here in Fadgrid. I'm not sure if there are still Aftershock members outside still mm-hmm. or inside the castle just waiting for uh, Adonis to maybe flag warp. But uh, what what kills is this though? What? Oh, Persecule is AFK? Oh, he got manhole. Oh, Mano, overbred spam. Okay, so they will back down for okay. a bit. They will back down for a bit because, again, uh, being caught by that manhole, you can just spam that uh, battery liquidation until you actually move out. Oh, okay. may- well, that's why Dominari moved left for a bit because they moved left so that they won't get caught by that uh, curse circle and suicidal destruction as Fadrid Castle. Unfortunately, got destroyed by Infinix Reborn. What? Oh, oh. so maybe, maybe when oh. Adonis pushed out, yeah, maybe yeah. when Adonis pushed out, Infinix Reborn yeah. was just there. He, they, he's just waiting for the opportunity because he probably had a read on Adonis. Yeah, he knows that. Ooh, Adonis is gonna push out. This is now my time to break them <laughs> carry right now. I just need to hide inside. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, and that's what he was successful in his attempt. Yeah, that's what I'm talking earlier. Like, uh, they they have that behavior that if there is like few members outside, they're gonna sweep it, and they're not leaving anyone uh, inside the Imperium. So to counter that uh, like that style, you just need to sneak in basically and wait them out to uh, to push out. The moment that they push out, you can sneak in and break the Imperium right away. But look at this though, Dominari. <laughs> They just got pushed out of the castle and now they're back. It's like nothing they're back happened. Immediately. It's oh. like nothing happened there, yeah. but Adonis is actually going to encounter Dominari right here. Of <laughs> course, the uh, Magic Stings will get cast to the floor, and uh, who benefited from that Magic Stings is actually Adonis. And uh, yeah, they are going to wipe uh, the members of Dominari who are here in Fat Good Castle, while uh, Dominari is just holding in. Um, uh, the members that are surviving here, but they will back up for a bit. You, you can see, you can see that mechanic just preparing himself to go in. No, yes, yes. Dominari, watch that mechanic though. Front slide, Madragora Howling got go. casted. Okay. Will we see? Will we see a suicidal destruction here coming from that mechanic of Dominari? Yes, I think uh, Adonis is trying to slow down uh, Dominari at the entrance as well. Um, I think we saw a uh, curse circle as well on the uh, entrance. That's actually a good hold, preventing uh, the players oh, on the side oh, of Dominari shot? on, uh, you know, flanking uh, Adonis. And Adonis right now is is actually on a good position. So I think they're just going to go in. And speaking of Dominari, Dominari actually has two teams who entered the top eight of Ragnarok Asian Masters. Let's go, GGH! Right. At least we have this. Uh, yeah. We have two rep- two teams who can represent um, a GGH. Two out of yes. six teams. Like we're in the top eight right now. Yes. I mean, during the the uh, the matches that they have, like I- I'm kind of nervous for for our teams in GGH. But again, I keep on, you know, Circle. hoping that uh, they can actually go in on the top eight. And luckily, we have like two teams right now, so very proud of them. So, except like Gabriel, that super novice broke that yeah, yeah, M. Yeah. Like, remember last Saturday? Like, I think... Uh, what, what, what happened last Saturday, though? I, I was just spectating. Yeah, last Saturday, like, I uh, I was actually spectating as well. Same as you. Uh, yeah, that super novice is really active on breaking stuff. I don't remember a super novice though, but uh, yeah, that super novice from Infinix Reborn is active as well because I remember when I was uh, just casually moving <laughs> in and out with my character. Yeah. Just, uh, I can see that super novice just uh, casting that Frost Nova <laughs> and uh, just maybe annoying some of the members with the. Uh, uh, that has uh, no bit as well. And the you, well, for, well, well. While uh, going into Warp Imperium using your rogue, right, MG? Yeah, yeah. Actually, you, you, uh, got, you got attacked by that super novice, and you will get pummeled by that super novice. Because yeah. That super novice to be is a level 150, and you're stuck at 86. <laughs> MG, what's happening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but uh, the good thing that happened during that uh, Warp Imperium, I actually killed one, and it's an archer. 
lurking around and I said no. <laughs> you cannot do it. Uh, you cannot do that here. I need to kill you. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Anyway, uh, Aftershock is going to um, be here at the end of this castle while Dawn is just conquered Fad Grid right now. Let's see who will be the next one to get this uh, Fad Grid castle. This has been a hot castle for a while now. And a lot of people are, um, you know, because I think this is a this is a good castle. It's it's spacious. It's, it's spacious. It's it's not really uh, defense or offense focus. So uh, it goes both ways. You can um, you can defend really well, but your flag warp is a little bit far from the the amp room because you yeah. need to probably walk for a bit. It's not really that ideal compared to. <laughs> How you you can uh, flag warp from Scoville Castle, but right now though, here in the entrance of Fadgrid Castle, you can see Aftershock and wow. Opus Day are going to hold the entrance of Fadgrid, and, and right Dominari is actually just trying to go in, but they are getting pushed out though. But Dominari is actually eliminating some of the members of After Aftershock and Opus Day right here, yes. as you can see, and like. Oh my god, the uh, the pressure coming from Aftershock on the left side and the pressure as well on Opus Day on the right side. And uh, that this is like really good um duo coming from this uh from this guild. And at the same time we have Infinix Reborn as well, casting Jack Frost there. Wow. Uh, Infinix Reborn. We haven't seen much of Infinix Reborn members though. Uh we only we, we can only see two members of Infinix Reborn right now, but I think <laughs> The, the alliance that we saw last time yeah. is still ongoing and this is a pretty pretty great combination right now MG yes it's actually really good the the mm -hmm. duo or the trio that they're doing right now um the class the class composition I really like the class composition like it's it's like every classes that uh, they have right now can cover all spaces like those um blind spaces on the attackers so I think this lineup will will be really good, especially if there's gonna be like uh, an, an event, right? So mm -hmm. they need to keep this up. Okay, oh Fratres. Mm -hmm. And speaking of events, though, MG, uh, while uh, we are watching uh, things, um, what what happened? Why why did, did they all get wiped out? Oh, wait, or wait, wait, um, yes, Infinix? yes, yes, they a ranger, yeah, a ranger. Of, uh, no, 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 they they, they are alloy in things. How? Why did all of them like uh they got disappear? I thought they were gonna go up, but the moment that I move up, there is no players. I didn't see any any hit, any kind of skill land on uh, the members of Aftershock right there on the left yeah. side. I'm not sure what really happened. Maybe it was an Af arrow storm <laughs> or suicidal destruction. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't see a suicidal destruction either. So it's probably a skill that we just didn't see. Okay, Donis. All right. Okay, oh. Adonis. Or maybe it's Adonis though. Maybe it's Adonis. Maybe Adonis because they push out right now. They are waiting right there. They are going to eliminate oh, and clear out the party here. The entrance bloody does getting casted here on uh, Opus Day. While uh, Lokis is actually casted on the entrance of Magic <laughs> Castle right now. You can see. Yeah. But someone got caught by that manhole. And you can only see the head and arrow storms will connect. Dragon's Breath coming from uh, Dominari right here. Multiple Dragon's Breath. And you can see just trades coming from Dominari and Adonis right here. Yes. And uh, I think uh, what they need to do as well. Like, uh, we understand that there is like a good defense or a good chemistry between the, the three girls right now. But they, they need to scout still. Right? Because they know that Adonis, if they got partly bored on the defending they're gonna go out eventually so they should be they should uh, note that on their uh, on their push versus adonis yes and uh one thing to note though mg as yes. well because uh later i'm going to mention because we have events currently ongoing in game that will be ending on our next maintenance which is on thursday november 17 Ooh. and a lot of these events are really good so uh, you can probably still get something out of this or if you haven't finished doing these quests or events then uh, now is uh, probably your last chance to do so because there are still around one and a half days yeah before before maintenance <laughs> yes Anyway, maintenance is actually also announced in uh, Discord. 
All right. So we will be having a scheduled maintenance on November seventeenth from ten a.m. to five p.m. And you can see what's happening right here, though. Just the uh, the trades here coming from our yes. players. As Adonis is just going to try and hold the entrance of this castle, they will probably go in later on, or wait for this castle to get broken. Someone from Infinix might actually go in and break this castle again. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Or maybe and it's going to be after Shocker Opus Day who does it now. Yes, they need to be careful on that super novice because that super novice super is novice, break. Though. Yeah, that super novice is breaking stuff like left and right, so they need to be careful. But mm -hmm. regarding Adonis, uh, Adonis Clash, I think uh, Aftershock and Opus Day is kind of doing good. They mm -hmm. just need to put pressure uh, to go in as well on the stack of Adonis because Adonis is like really confident on going to the stack of their enemies, creating those uh, openings for their uh, for their Rune Knights and uh, Warlock as well. So they need to uh, pressure Adonis as well, preventing them to do any uh, counter push or aggressive movement to their guild well they're probably just take advantage of the opportunities they can get in every situation and i believe that's what most guilds should do is to take advantage if they see an opportunity they should take advantage of that yes uh, again because uh it's quite difficult sometimes to see where the the spots you can go to <laughs> Mm -hmm. Especially in uh, when skills are stacking around one another, and um, there are limited, um, mi there are only a few mistakes that you can spot, and yes. that and that you can take advantage of. Someone might go in, for example, with a curse circle, but that curse circle, uh, curse circle only hit a um, maybe a single character. Yeah. Right. And you know that will be a, a, a call that based on your own discretion yes maybe it's not really a good call to attack if it if that curse circle only got managed to get one right yeah exactly mm -hmm. so again uh, they need to like coordinate and uh, sync their attacks and uh, make sure how to take advantage or how to do a, a, a approach on a different guild like for example dominari adonis or opus day they need to know um, how their lineup works in order for them to uh, react properly on those fights. Okay. So actually, while uh, chaos is unfolding here at the entrance of Fadgrid Castle right now, I have a question for the viewers right Let's now go. who are watching. Okay. And for you also, MG. Based on our uh, current update and all the items that got released, okay, what do you think is the best class right now for you? What do you think? In your own opinion, best class right now. Based on now? the current items, based on the current patch, what do you think is the best class? The best for me, I think uh, it's at the moment, I think GX still. It mm. kind of favors on the GX still on the uh, GX and Ranger for me. Oh, yeah. Why? <laughs> uh, because <laughs> you, need, you need to explain well, why though. Well, I mean, uh, cause. Regarding the <laughs> regarding for the items, like especially for the like the eggs, I really like the FAW. Like I keep on mentioning this to you, right? Um, well, a lot of people, not only you, a lot of people yes. like the falling into window. Yeah, it's actually one of the the key uh, or core items, should I say? One of the core items that you need to have if you want to pull off certain builds, right? And I forgot the item, uh, the five B one, the five B. What's that again? You you mentioned that earlier. Well, uh, is that the 5B? from the egg, it's uh, like uh, it's pri it, it's priced so high. I think it's around five B or probably even more. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's the Selim brooch. Yeah, that one. Uh, it's it's so expensive right <laughs> now. If you manage to get one, it's such a rare item that you can get. <clears throat> and uh, <laughs> you know, having that item can actually give you can actually cost wonders. All right. Or yeah, uh, yeah. Can can make you have a good time. Can make you all happy. Right? <laughs> can it can make you happy for a long time, all right? Yeah, yeah. That's Lee Bruce because again, it decreases variable cast time by ten percent. Just magic like attack them. plus five percent. And if you off or uh, uh, equip it with the Celine ribbon, you can decrease fixed cast time by zero point three seconds, which is also uh, which is a big thing actually. Wow. And magic attack plus ten and uh, more and more effects. You can all you can check out the effects. Um, in our 
in our website, mm-hmm. r.gnjoy.asia. It's also in Discord. I think uh, it's also in the pinned comment right now. I'm uh, I'm a check right now. Yeah. The Halloween. Uh, the Halloween. Egg. All right. The Halloween egg. Just click on the link of the Halloween egg right there. You can see the effect of Celine Brooch in our website. Yeah. So make sure to check it out right now because uh, it's such an expensive item that you'd want to get if you are a caster. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's it's SS grade and you no. Know, a There's also have. sealed a Dark Lord card though. There's yeah, also yeah. sealed Dark Lord card, and I all I I saw, I saw a person get that Ooh. sealed Dark Lord card while I was online. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, it's it's like, it's like, like a it's that? like an item that's so rare as well, sealed Dark Lord card. Mm-hmm. But I believe it's not something that you'd want, especially. It's 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 such a rare item. It's like you can see that you're you're very lucky, but you're not because not that's not the item you want. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So again, it's it's a card. It's a sealed card. It's still an MVP card. Sealed MVP card. But maybe if you're planning to just get a Celine Brute or a Scented Weapon box, uh, you know you got the rarest of the bunch in that egg. Imagine that. But five billion. You're, you're, yeah, you're you're um you're aiming for something not that rare. <laughs> Yeah. Or so you're aiming for something rare, but not at that level, all right? <laughs> yeah. But just imagine, yeah, yeah. like, if the price is, like, kind of 5B or up. Like, imagine mm-hmm. what items you can buy in exchange of that specific one item, right? Mm-hmm. Wow. And, yeah, you know, in the opening the Halloween eggs, I believe MG also have your experience opening some uh, uh, Halloween eggs Are we right gonna here. talk about it? Or... <laughs> yeah. it um, you know, it's either you're very lucky or you're not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, that's the only option. It's either you're lucky or you're not. I'm actually okay. curious to open like one or two. Yes. Mm-hmm. And, okay, RNG is not that good. But, y- you know that feeling that you want to open more? Yeah, well... Have, have you... I saw I saw a person just open one egg or, or probably even more, but he just he got he just uh, his name just got shouted single time and he got the rarest item, uh, and I believe that was the sealed Dark Lord card I said, that I mentioned earlier. Yeah, but if you want to get to know Celine, you know, <laughs> if you want to get to know Celine, Celine, let's go. Uh, you know, uh, you hey, only Celine. have like uh, one and a half days to g- to try and get to know Celine. Yeah. Because uh yeah, you only have around one and a half days to purchase that Halloween egg. Yeah. That feeling and again, that you thought that you're gonna be lucky for that day. Yeah. Keep on trying. And shout out actually to everyone who knows Celine right Celine. now. Celine Or uh spent too much because of Celine. Yes. <laughs> Celine, why you do this? Why you do this to us? <laughs> yeah, it's it's a pretty good item. And yeah, it is, it is, it is. Uh, a lot of good items in the eggs as well, especially you can actually show the items the egg, the Halloween okay. egg right now, MG. Um, since we are on the topic of uh, the Halloween egg, <laughs> the Slain's brooch again, the Mad Bunny, uh, Demon God's ring, <laughs> and the one of the items that I really like, the Katarina Von Blood. Katarina. Uh, Von it's a uh, perfect for leveling, I can say. It's perfect for leveling, especially if you can one hit the monsters. It's mm. it's such an a. Uh, it's such a controversial item. Controversial in a way because um, some people don't want it. Some people <laughs> like it very much. Yeah. I'm. I personally, I'm the one of the people who like it very much because I'm when I'm leveling my character. <laughs> uh, I don't need to worry about potions anymore. Yeah. So yeah, one of the things I like about the character being upon blood, uh, fallen angel wing, of course, is also there. Ascended weapon box and the costumes. The costumes. The costumes are great. Actually, it me is. and CMM we talked about this. Ooh. We talked about uh, did did you did you manage to get the costumes? <laughs> like you, you, I mean, you and Emmy is like really addicted on costumes, bro. Like for yeah, co- costume costumes are costume like, wars, know. bro. Uh, yeah, War and uh, actually, <laughs> I, I like the black cat, the black cat right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. It's actually mm-hmm. good. That's it's really actually good. pretty good. And the cost the costume Lolly Ruri's moon. Mm. And guys, for those of you who are watching right now, what do you think? Or what? Uh, what's the best item for you in the Halloween egg currently? 
right? Mm. So let us know in the chat. Come on, guys. Uh, just uh, don't be shy. Just comment what you like about the Halloween egg. Or uh, are you lucky? Were you already lucky? Did you already lucky? get the, <laughs> the things that you were lo looking forward on getting from these Halloween eggs? So you can hide the Halloween egg right now. Yep. Right. Said by Gabriel right here, if I get hand on a seal the Dark Lord, I'll just use it to AFK level a skill body monk with <laughs> reflect. <laughs> really no. Uh just imagine the creativeness of the players, like every time that they're gonna get certain items. Like Yeah, I haven't I haven't thought about that though. Like steel body monk with reflect. <laughs> no, it's it, okay. it could work, it could work, uh, yeah. It could but work. You need the very, very high hit for you to cause damage, but anyway. <laughs> maybe you have a b gears to actually contribute to that damage, but... Said by uh, Gustav right here, RK and Ranger OP, they already have class-specific headgears. Please release a GS headgears too. Um, since... GGH is progressive. Yes. And a lot of items are getting released. Uh, of course, the eggs are getting changed every two to three weeks. So, yeah, maybe maybe one of these, these days we'll probably see a GX specific headgear get released. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, and I think last month was the GS. Uh, last month, October, I think they have a really good headgear for GX, if I'm not mistaken. I really don't remember. I uh, remember uh, one of the streamers and I think RKM talked about it on the Toffee Talk last time, mm -hmm. last, uh, last month, if I'm mm -hmm. not mistaken. So oh. maybe we're gonna get another one this month or next month. So I think uh, maybe. Yeah. We all know for those of you guys who are following RKM, RKM really loves Guillotine Cross. Yeah. <laughs> right. So if he is going to stream, please please check out uh, his streams. He usually streams uh, at night. Night. <laughs> usually night to morning. Usually, <laughs> all right. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, if you have uh, questions or tips, or he has tips about the uh, GX as well. GX, so. the instance, uh, questing, uh, progression of characters. I think he's actually one of the. Like one of one of the go-to persons if you want to really know in depth on on those type types of topic as well. Yes, a guillotine cross. Fallen Angel Wing. MG, give me please. <laughs> okay, I, I just translated that. <laughs> just translated. Yeah. I right. wish I have one. And if I have one, eh, I'm just gonna use it. Fallen Angel Wing said by Gabriel. Even oh, if I did another, just another fan Halloween. of FAW. Okay, okay. Uh, personally, come on, guys. Falling Angel Let's Wing go. is a good idea. Falling. Oh, what? Suicidal Destruction, though. Suicidal Destruction landed before Dominari actually went in, but Adonis doesn't have any backlane support here <laughs> yeah. to defend their castle. But yeah, Suicidal Destruction landed at that specific moment. <laughs> what a great Suicidal Destruction right there. Anyway, um, Fallen Angel Wing. Again, it's a it's a pretty good item, but you need to get it to plus nine for you to utilize it perfectly. Mm -hmm. You can say because uh, if in, if it's plus nine, you can enchant you can enchant it three times. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, it costs Ooh. one M per enchant or one million zeni per enchant. So some enchants are perfect. You need to have a lot of zen if you want to enchant it perfectly. So people enchant it, usually it's a expert archer, sometimes spell, or sometimes it's going to be uh, critical for some. Right? Yes. Wow. Said by Kauru, bring back the Kachua Keys event. I think this has been mentioned in the Tofi talk last time. It mm -hmm. has been mentioned by Kai. It has been addressed already by uh, Kai in the Tofi talk. And, uh, he made some points right there so yeah maybe if you want to ask for suggestions make sure to send the send it to um you know send it to it's in the, the suggestions tab in discord maybe yes it can be looked at yes all right wow consistent attacks coming from dominari opus and uh, aftershock on this castle 
mm. Adonis managed to turn the tables earlier versus Dominari connecting that uh, Bloodlust if I'm mistaken earlier it was connected and like five players from Adonis got stuck on that one and Adonis rushing in taking down one by one Dominari and Dominari actually lost their grip on the on the defense for this yeah, castle. I'm not really sure what happened right there. Dominari members were just standing there. Uh, I believe not all of them got caught by the bloody lust earlier. Bloody lust, yeah. But uh, when they were just standing there at the stairs area of this um, Imperium room, I'm not really sure what happened because uh, they were just standing there as yeah. Adonis uh, went back in. I'm not really sure how many members of Adonis were left there in the M2 earlier. Um, but yeah, they are room? going yeah. to reestablish their defense here and then make sure that no one will get in. But I believe that their Imperium got a little bit damaged as Dominari will go back in and probably regroup here at the pre amp area. <coughs> Mm -hmm. Yes, and I think uh, they need to check as well the Imperium side because no one uh, immediately rush in on the Imperium and uh, do Ruwak. So I think they need to check that maybe that Supernovus is there again. But yeah, just to double check, they need to Ruwak on the... Uh... You, you, really, you really want to check on that Supernovus, I'm, I'm telling you, bro. Like, I, that I believe Super you're, 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 you're like traumatized by that Supernovus. Yeah, I dude. don't know what's happened like, to you. Last Warf Imperium that I did like on my Rogue, He's actually beating me like 7 to 2, bro. He has 7 Imperiums and I got like 2 Imperiums. That's how fast he breaks the Imperium, bro. Well, here's the thing. That Super Novice is level 150. Yeah. You're only yeah. 86. Yeah. And, I don't have on, the no. <laughs> and I don't have the items yet. And that, uh, that Super Novice is pretty uh, like built. Uh, or they ha he has the gears to break the Imperium. And I don't. So they need to be careful on that one. He's like a mini GX. <laughs> Every time you all say uh, Imperium. <laughs> mini maybe, GX. May, may, maybe your rogue is just. You know, I, I don't want to say it, MG, but your rogue is just. Dude! I'm actually built to break, bro. Built to break. Okay, whatever you say, MG. Okay, okay. Like, okay. I think, like, I have, like, viewers to prove that. Like, for real, bro. Come on, I, I think even guys, uh, correct. Um, I have who do you, who do you think that. will win? Who do you think will win? I believe um, the super uh, CMME is also making a, a gypsy. I believe it's already a gypsy right now. So who will win? Will Will MG's rogue win or will CMME's gypsy win? You don't. If they go on a one versus one battle, there's no debate. First, I'm gonna strip the helmet and normal attack all the way to win. Let my uh, double attack and crits do the talking. Okay. <laughs> so, um, CMME versus MG, one versus one. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Alright. Who said by Alan right here? RKM to AM sessions. Uh, yeah. RKM has been streaming at a really, really <laughs> late night sessions right there, but. Ooh. But to be fair. Adon is just yeah. any, though. Yeah, but mm -hmm. to be fair regarding the streams, even if like it's 2 a.m., like he's he's actually extending um hours. Like he's not doing like two hours stream. He's doing like a lot of hours for his uh -huh. stream. So cool. you can actually catch him um during maybe or on your lunch break maybe? I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Well actually MG, um while you're on the topic I actually just mentioned, I I actually just saw some uh, defense um loopholes or uh, holes right here at the defense of Adonis. Yeah, yeah. No one is actually there at the top of that... Uh, <clears throat> this one? The top of that uh, stairs. Mm -hmm. The top left of the uh, that uh, stairs right there. And it's going to be tough. <clears throat> so, it's going to be tough left. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, it's like, is, yeah, it, is it like uh, focus on your roles to get your goals? Yeah. yeah, yeah okay, like okay. <laughs> okay. But yeah, no one is actually there. So it can actually get um, invaded easily. It can inv go. get invaded easily though. But what is your best Howling How got casted. Yeah. And as it bombs, I believe this is a like, cinnamon. I think, James, we should ask the, uh, our viewers if they have like a best rhyme for... Yeah, best for rhyme rhyme for their for any ragnarok terms that they can actually uh put mm. right so i yeah. think your your uh rhyme is what 
Yeah. The top, oh, whatever. Top right. Let, let's, really... let's, let's, let's not mention that. <laughs> anyway, Dominar is preparing Here to go, go in. And yeah, like what I mentioned earlier though, MG, Adonis has their uh, MVP once again <laughs> there. I believe uh, it was uh, Cinnamon. Uh, let's see if Cinnamon survives. Again, oh, yeah, here, we here we go! Here we go! For a howling, are they going to attack? No suicidal destruction as of yet. Front slide, front slide, front slide. Suicidal destruction. Oh! The patient uh, got caught by the, the counter patience. because MG wasn't moving right there. Like, I'm but another to move. counter. There was a counter suicidal destruction coming from Dominari as well. Oh, but uh, Dominari, oh, there's a beam. Yeah, they will they will beaming out because again that mechanic doesn't have a mad though anymore. Yeah. Alright, so patience. that's a good call. That's a good call actually. If um don't don't waste any more potions, don't waste any more things. You know, because you don't have that mad though, you, uh, suicidal destruction has a five minute cooldown. Uh just get your mad gear once again, then attack. <laughs> just focus, just regroup again, maybe probably at the entrance, but at the entrance actually of this castle MG. If you can uh, look at it briefly right now. At the entrance of this castle, you can oh, <laughs> you can you can actually Dude. see a uh, great defense, the great wall of up. uh, what do you call this? Obus after shock and Obus. I'm not sure what they're planning to do. Maybe they are, they are um, preparing. They are setting the up their defense. Oh, what? Arrow storm. Uh, what? Who what? got hit with that arrow storm? What? A uh, one Opus day. What what hit them though? Did you see? I didn't see. Yeah, I didn't see that. Like, there's no uh, no animation as well on the like the arrow star. Maybe, maybe it was on the top side as well. I'm not really sure what happened though. Maybe it's because of oh maybe it's because of that sorcerer with a different guild. Yeah, the the one with the, the, the that's a solo sorcerer yeah, 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 yeah. though. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Anyway, their defense will get penetrated here by uh, the uh, other opposing guilds. <laughs> but yeah, maybe they are practicing their defense because uh, this is the first time that we're actually seeing them um, do a, um, a defensive setup. Maybe yeah. they're trying to set things up for now. They're probably they're going to use it at a different time. So this is actually pretty good. You know, no one's uh, that well coordinated at the first. You know, at the, at the start. So maybe they are practicing their strategies. They are preparing for the larger things to come, right? Yes. Actually, that's a really good defense. Like, um, left and right, it's pretty covered. It's just they got, I think, one-shotted, if I'm not mistaken. You got one-shotted earlier. But talking about defense, a good chemistry, should I say. A good chemistry between these uh, three guilds right now that we're seeing. And I'm really excited what they can actually pull off um, versus uh, maybe Dominari soon, right? Uh-huh. And we have a comment right here coming from uh, Gabrielle. Gunslinger Dead Class. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Gunslinger Dead Class. Actually, MG gave up on his Gunslinger now. <laughs> they actually buried it and uh, niffled him. Uh, I'm not sure if you saw that stream, but yeah. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. It, it got, it, it uh, got posted. It had got memed really hard. It, it had a funeral. It had a funeral yeah. in uh, Niflheim. Niflheim. Yeah, yeah. It was last week, right? Last yeah. Wednesday? Because I got memed so hard, so yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> MG MG's gunslinger had a funeral at Niflheim last yes. Wednesday. It has already been buried yeah, there. Yeah, the as well. Uh huh. And <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no love for MG's gunslinger. Right no love, now. bro. Like, hey. <laughs> yeah. Hey, okay. <laughs> So Gabriel said, "CM and just press button for a scream, and it's all over." Yeah, especially because MG doesn't have vet. <laughs> can, wait, wait, wait! Question: it. If if she's gonna cast scream, can I uh, can can I get affected if I'm hiding? I believe you. No can. right. No right. But dude, but 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 dude, a gypsy has check. improved. A gypsy have has improved concentration. Dude. You better check the skills of the road because if you're hiding and scream is casting, no effect. Be careful. Um, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, or maybe me, maybe you won't. Maybe, maybe you won't. I, me, I, 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 I I know you won't. I know you won't. Yeah. I know you won't get affected by scream, but a gypsy has a, a, an improved concentration skill which can detect you though. So, yeah. 
Set by <laughs> Allen right here. Sorry, MGCM Emmy will win. No what? doubt she won my no! heart. No! So. No! Dude! <laughs> no. I thought you were on my team, bro. So, so bit to win! The one versus one oh battle my God, of MGCM I thought you were on my team. Alright, so it's it's going to be CM Emmy's Gypsy versus MG's so, Rogue. Oh, wait, wait, so no more Team MG, uh, Alan? Oh my god. No more I... Team MG for oh you. Oh my god, what happened? Maybe maybe if it's your Gunslinger, it will oh have a chance, god. though. Maybe it's, if it's your Gunslinger, it has a chance, but... No. <laughs> Guys, come on. No more love for MG? Oh my god. No more love for MG. As you can see, uh, uh, Dominari is going to occupy the entrance of this castle right now. Well, Opus Day, I think, and uh, Aftershock is probably outside the Fatvid castle right now. Yeah. Just waiting for an opportunity to go, to go back in. <coughs> I'll scout ahead, famous lessons. <laughs> <words. laughs> uh, also, oh, you guys. Do they remember? So, so, so you guys, so you guys watch the stream of CMM last no, week. Wait, wait, James. Like this is what MG said. Oh my god! I'll, sc I'll scout ahead. We were in Nibelheim. MG said I'll scout ahead, after and he just got uh, mauled dude, by dude, that dude. Lord of Death. I, yeah, after two seconds, Lord of Death popped up in front of me. <laughs> All right. So, oh my god! Hey, thanks for scouting ahead, MG. At least, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, did my uh did they die as well? I think yes, right? No. Oh, okay. uh, it, de it depends. Okay. 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 I can't remember anyway. if they die on on the mm -hmm. Lord of Death. <laughs> yeah. I tried to anyway. tank it, bro. I think I, uh, I tried to tank it. You can't. <laughs> what what point, are you thinking? Point zero 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 one percent. To dodge a the MG! MG's <laughs> trying to tank LOD or Lord of Death with a level 86 rogue, guys. 87, bro. 87. Oh, okay. Level 87 rogue. So it leveled up once. All right. Yeah, yeah. Level 87 rogue. Oh my god. I'm not sure how you can uh, actually tank. But anyway, Infinix Reborn, Aftershock, and Opus, they are actually pushing in right now. You can see more members of Infinix Reborn. Uh, going with Aftershock and Opus Day. So, sorry guys if uh, my, my hairstyles has been yeah. changing throughout this The team. Dream Team, here we go. Oh! Uh, oh! Ooh. It got uh, destroyed. The problem is by Adonis. No, Aftershock. Aftershock, Aftershock actually occupied Fadgid Castle. <laughs> While uh, we are going to go back there. It was, domi it was in Dominaris' possession earlier. Yeah. Mm-hmm. As Adonis is actually preparing outside as well of the castle. And uh, Opus Day needs to go back in. Adonis just pushing in right now. Madragora howling acid bombs. We'll take one down. Uh, oh, ooh, Dragon's oh. Breath and the Arrow Storms will land on Adonis right there. And you can see Dragon's Breath spam. But Neutral Barrier will actually uh, you know, disable the effect of that Dragon's Breath. While uh, Adonis is actually pushing in. Yes. Very, very slowly. Aftershock is probably holding that the preempt area. So they're probably just waiting for Opus Day to go in as well so they could set up a good defense here in Fadrid Castle. Yeah. So let's see if Adonis can penetrate the defense that they did right here. Yep. And I think uh, most of the team right now are the uh, Infinix, Aftershock, and... Uh... Opus Day is aware right now that some of the Adonis is actually approaching the um, Imperium area. Mm -hmm. So I think, uh, yeah, okay, as expected, they're actually putting um, a solid defense. Uh, they have the uh, Magne uh, Rockies here, like the classical mm -hmm. block ready. You have the some players who's actually trying to block the ground control players. This is really good. So I think um, Adonis will kind of have a hard time on uh, pushing this one. Uh huh. And uh, as they are setting up uh, below the stairs right now, some comments that I hear said by Alan, you're the real hero there, MG. You died Thanks, for bro. your team. Thanks, bro. But we were just leveling. We're not really... Oh, oh sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I thought we were trying to boss uh, on. Sorry, I'm sorry. not really sure. I'm not really sure what sorry, MG sorry. did. He can just fly wing out. He <laughs> can just fly wing out. But I don't know why MG did what he did. Very, very questionable. 
decisions right there. Said by Raymart, if you're rogue is bow type, you have a chance. MG's rogue is a hybrid. <laughs> <laughs> hybrid. <laughs> has strength, has dex, has agi. 30 dex. 30 Probably luck. has luck as well. 30 luck, 99 agi. A very, very high rogue indeed yes. for uh, MG's rogue. And level 2 double strafe. <laughs> Three. Three, oh, level 3. <laughs> level 3. <laughs> oh, dude, he comes. Oh, I think I saw the uh, Super Novice. Okay, yeah, so. Oh, do you what what do you think can MG do? It's just a rogue, guys. He, he can still change his build <laughs> when he reaches a uh, stalker. I'm actually planning for a uh, full 99, uh, 99, 120 lock. No decks. For my uh, SE, uh, for the build. Hopefully, uh, soon. I I'm not sure why, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, going back to our Imperium now, MG. Tell us what you are seeing. Okay, so right now I think uh, after is still uh, stacking inside, and going back to the entrance, we have a couple of Dominary Opus they contesting Curse Circle. Ooh, you have the invest? No. Oh, but Kirk, uh, Kirk from Dominari. Okay, so I think uh, Dominari is trying to push on this one. Uh, we're not actually seeing any uh, any Adonis on this castle. Let me just check outside then. Maybe maybe they're just regrouping outside. Yeah. <laughs> or they're probably Ooh. going to attack a different castle, no? <laughs> Let me check. No, actually not in Krem Hill as well. So I don't know. I don't know where Don is. Maybe they're just regrouping right now, or yeah, they're they're preparing to probably go in. So after shock, or Dominari has a hold of the entrance of Madrid Castle right now, as you can see, some traps getting placed. Um, while Dominari, you can see that mechanic just waiting for the opportunity to probably use that suicidal destruction once again. Two mechanics on the side Ooh. of a Dominari right there, and whoever goes in. That's not prepared. We'll get eliminated by the dragon's breath yeah. and the uh, uh, arrow storms. What's that? Uh, is that a Kagero? That's a Ka that's a Kagero just casting skills there on the floor as well. Oh, okay. I think Adonis is back here. Or yeah, I think they're just scouting. Yeah, well, uh, Dominari is uh, taking a hold of Adgid Castle right now. MG. Uh, I want to continue mentioning the events that we currently have that's going to end on Thursday. And one of those events is uh, Jack's story of Jack and Jack. So you can con still continue this quest if you did the first parts. So this is now your last chance to try and uh, get some of the costumes included in Jack's story of Jack and Jack. Yeah. Okay, have you have you tried doing this? Yes, oh, actually. Yeah. I, I think you did. I think you did. Because you click on the NPC to go to Niflheim. Yeah. Right? I, I really had a bad experience on Niflheim. So. And MG's, MG's traumatized in Niflheim. Now. Um, can we skip on that topic? <laughs> I'm just joking. Uh, yes, definitely. Definitely. The Halloween event is really good. Um, you can actually uh, check it on the website as well. There's actually a, uh, a detailed um, guide on how to do it. So it's really easy. Yes, because you know Jack's story of Jack and Jack is uh, suddenly Jack has disappeared during the Halloween Ooh, event at Jack Nippleheim. No matter how hard you look around, we can't find Jack. Why? Maybe Jack reached the land of the living? Find out more about Jack and his whereabouts by visiting the website by clicking the link in the pinned comment or visit our website. Or <laughs> that you enjoy that Asia. <laughs> or check it out in our GGH Discord. It's kind of redundant. Just visit yeah. the website because you really need to. Just visit the website. All the details are there. It's also in the ROGGH Discord. And while uh, you are doing that, uh, please do check out the Uninvited Guests event as well. Because that event is also going to end on November 17 or uh, on a Thursday. After the maintenance is all going to end. Alright, so... Make sure to check it out. The uninvited guest, it was heard that some of her slaves had ran away during her tea time. 
please find her at Komodo and help capture the escaped slaves. All right, the Lolly Ruri NPC at Komodo. It's one of the 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 good events you can uh, can get. And make sure, make sure to all use all of use all of the JMT candies that you acquired during the mm-hmm. event. If you actually captured some of those escaped slaves, make sure to. Um, use it all up before the event ends on Thursday, right? Yep. <laughs> okay, so uh, Alan Miko said here, MG, I made a ninja. You should try that class next. Ooh. Oh, ninja MG is also ninja? pretty good, though. Yeah. Ninja is also pretty good because you can reach up to level 150. It's not that hard to acquire the gear support for ninja, I think. And uh, <laughs> you can you can probably level up and farm really quickly with that ninja yeah. and also do some of the instances as well yep. so yeah, actually watch, really bad yeah actually watch the stream of rkm he's actually uh using a ninja leveling his ninja uh, in magma dungeon if i'm not mistaken yeah he's really uh patient on uh on moving to one spot to another spot yes and yes guys going back to the gunslinger Rebellion class, please, by John uh-huh. uh, Gonzalez. Come on, guys. Rebellion. Uh-huh. Come rebellion on. Rebellion class. <laughs> Release the rebellion, and you will see a new meta. MG. You will see an MG meta. MG meta. But but yeah, actually, the the ninja, an uh, Kagero uh, or an Oboro, can uh, be similar to how you, ru- you use a uh, guillotine cross. Similar to how you can use a uh, body mm-hmm. cutter. Just use the ninja skills, of, especially if you're a throwing build. You can easily level up and <coughs> farm there in Magma Dungeon if you want. Yeah. But it's yeah, risky, it's, it's, but a, it's, it's really a good, good class. It's a pretty good class, but uh, yeah, you need to find the right gears and time to level it up. Okay. And it's not that strong in the end game compared to if you're going to use a Guilting Cross or if you're going to say Gunslinger class. Sorry. Gunslinger, no, it's it's a pretty weak, it's a pretty weak class right now. Okay, okay, it's a pretty weak class right now since uh, Rebellion is not that out yet. Okay, I think uh, I'm gonna reply on Alan Miko. <laughs> if that class can actually defeat uh, CMME, let's go. <laughs> yeah, seriously, I'm up for the challenge. If my rogue cannot de- uh, defeat uh, CM uh, Emmy, sorry, yeah, CM Emmy, CM Emmy's a uh, Dancer, yeah, I'm gonna make a ninja. Or, well, yeah. you, you'll probably have a chance, but anyway, MG, go back to the entrance of this castle right now. After Shock is back again at the entrance, they are setting up their defense along with the uh, Opus Day. So, it's actually, they are going to set up a dip, pretty different defense right now compared to what, wow. what they did earlier. <laughs> Yeah, so you know, yeah, they're probably just trying to focus on setting up their defense to try to work things out to probably see what's the best type of uh, defense they can actually work with to you know better ensure their stability in battles. Yep. I think it's a good way though that uh, after Shock Opus Day and Infix Reborn are doing this again. Uh, they were pretty small guilds. Um. When War of Imperium started, and right now, because of their alliance, because of their um, team coordination, they are doing pretty good, and they are a force to be reckoned with. You know, you just need to know where you are hitting and who to attack. Yes. So if, if uh, in the long run, they are probably if if they are going to stick together, you know, for a long time, the team coordination of these three girls can rise up to the top, yes. and they can probably, you know, compete. And uh, defeat all of their foes. Yeah, so I agree. If they keep on doing this, everything will evolve onto them. Like especially the, the offense, the defense as well. Right now, and uh, this is kind of dangerous for uh, like if, if Adonis is gonna face up with this uh, type of uh, defense, even in Dominari maybe. Like um, right now, to think that most of them are kind of new on on this try on this setup, but you know they're actually pulling it off. Like, multiple guilds are trying to go in. They've been really successful. So, it's a matter of time that we can actually see a, a massive group that can actually defend uh, on multiple uh, on multiple guilds. Especially if there is, like, if they have this defense on the on the qualifiers, definitely they can actually uh, pull off one slot, maybe. Yeah, so... 
Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sorry, MG. I just laughed at uh, Alan Migos' comment. Hashtag MG Ninja beats. Let's CMME. go. Let's keep up with the hashtag, I'm guys. Let's go. I I'm going to go for Team CMME because my Team C God, I, I believe CMME oh my can God, beat dude. MG's Ninja easily. Dude, of all the people, oh, come on, James. No, so you because know, because Alan, be because Alan Miko is a uh, um, right. what do you call? It? He's teamed up with you. Okay. All right. Okay. He wants to cheer okay, for you. I'm going fine. to cheer for that side. So it's 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 an exchange, right? Okay, that's it's fine. An exchange. That's fine. All right. Anyway, uh, since uh, we've mentioned the Halloween events earlier, and the uh, last but not the least Halloween event that I do want to mention, this is uh, probably going to hurt a lot of people because this, uh, there's a great event that's now going to be ending on a Thursday, and that is the Halloween Spooky Spotlight. Mm. Alright, MG, can you bring that up? Halloween Spooky Spotlight because during the event period, Certain undead monsters provide 150% experience, like zombies, skeletons, soldier skeletons, evil druids, wraith, dark priest, zombie prisoners, ragged zombie, necromancer, and so much more. And the event or the Halloween spooky spotlight is only until uh, November 17, after the maintenance is all uh, going to be gone. So you, ha you still have maybe one and a half days. Yeah. To take advantage of the Halloween spooky spotlight to level up your characters. And yeah, uh, it's a pretty good uh, spotlight. Because again, you can uh, level up really, really quickly if you go for the undead route. Actually, a mixture of the undead route and the alive route is uh, the best thing. Yes. All right. Said my CMME right here, or by uh, Michelle right here. <laughs> CMME beats MG Ninja. Oh my god. Okay. God. okay. Dude, what's happening? So, two votes you? right now. So two Michelle, votes right oh now for god. the CMME versus MG Ninja. With the, what's with the sudden change of teams, bro? <laughs> okay. I thought we're, we're, we're like this, you know? Oh. So, so, you guys should vote for, for that as well. Will, will you? Do you think if MG makes a ninja, he can uh, finally defeat uh, CMME's Gypsy one versus one? Oh my Let us god. know in the chat, guys. Let us know in the chat. Oh my god. Let us know what you think <laughs> of uh, the battle between the Gypsy and uh, Ninja. All the, right. The, anyway. the betrayal, bro. Like, live betrayal. <laughs> <laughs> On spot bet <laughs> All right. Oh my god, Michelle. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, um, yeah, the the events that I measured earlier, the Halloween events, you know, um, they are they are pretty good, and mm -hmm. since it's not going to be Halloween season anymore, <laughs> and because it's now uh, November fifteen, so <laughs> out of all of uh, these Halloween events that we had, <laughs> MG, what's your favorite one? Of course, the. Uh... Uh, the spooky spy uh, spotlight, definitely. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yes. Finally, I reached Glassheim. <laughs> <laughs> you finally did something good in Glassheim, right? Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. from the uh, Dark Beast. Yeah, from Wraith and yeah, I actually enjoyed everything there. Um, there's a lot of people leveling there as well. Um, in the same time, the XP was really good as well. So Ooh. it's pretty solid. Yes. How about you guys? How about you guys? What do you think? What's the what's your favorite Halloween event that we had in uh, GGH? Alright, so let us know in the chat as well. Okay, as Opus Day is going to secure the entrance or uh, the portal here at the the amp room. But what's dangerous about their spot right here? Again, Adonis mm -hmm. is known oh, for yeah, doing yeah, yeah, yeah. this kind of things. Alright, so careful. a cursed circle and suicidal destruction might land. I think they. So, they I think uh, yeah, they they, that's why they're probably backing out <laughs> right now. Okay, because uh, they can get caught. They can get caught by this one. <laughs> and uh, another comment right here, MG, and uh, right, you will what? get hurt. You will get hurt by this comment. Wait, okay. what? Oh. Happy birthday, MG, November Dude. 25. All right. So it's going to be MG's birthday in, in 10 days. Is that legit, MG? Going back. Okay. <laughs> okay. Going back. To... Okay. Why oh, are they okay. push? Okay. Oh, Opus Day is pushing. There you go. Uh-huh. Gates of Hell will land uh, after we go. shock. Vanishing point. But 
Can you turn on the effects right now, MG? Let's see what's happening. Ooh, why did you open that one? <laughs> MG, turn on the effects. MG, what's wrong with you? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so we can see some vacuums underground. There Diamond does getting casted right here. Phantom is rolling cutter coming from uh, Adonis right here to prevent or deal more DPS as uh, Opus Day and Aftershock are going in and vacuums will actually prevent but uh, oh. Magnetic Earth getting gas on the go? floor Curse Circle is planning perfectly oh. right there along with that Arrow Storm just dealing damage against the members of Adonis that oh Warlock my. will go down so, uh, Arm Cannons coming from Opus Day right here and you can see the members of Adon is getting taken down one by one but that Duma they will need try to push. They need to push. And, uh, serve or make them survive here they still have that mechanic with that Mado gear on, so they can actually use a suicidal destruction as well. Neutral barrier getting casted right Arrow here. Storm is not and breaking. they can actually go up for a little bit right here. Arrow Storm is getting land landing on Adonis right now as they are just trying to survive. Diamond Dust getting caught by that uh, spider web. Or uh, fiber lock. They're called yes. fiber lock. I think. <coughs> yeah. So, yeah, I think Adonis will be able to defend this one. As not a lot of people manage to push through and reach that em room or Imperium. There's probably a, a, a Royal Guard just attacking. Yeah, just a single Royal Guard. Oh, and a, a Guillotine Cross. Oh, right, okay. Curse Circle. Stage, just attacking that Curse Circle will land there on that Guillotine Cross. While that Royal Guard is getting attacked here by Adonis. And you no can follow see Adonis up. just uh, regrouping right now, making sure they go back. As Opus Day Royal Guard will get taken down and Adonis will be able to defend this Imperium. But yes. if someone's already outside, if someone's already outside waiting, if this... someone's right there waiting for Adonis to push back in, it's yes. going to be dangerous for them. But right now, we also don't see Dominari. Uh, regroup here at the entrance of mm -hmm. Madrid Castle. They're okay, actually the outside. Protector. They're actually at the entrance while uh, Opus Day and Aftershock are at the entrance as well, along with uh, some members of Sword Guild just uh, casting that Arrow Storm, then mm -hmm. going back out. Wow. All right. Actually, there's, that's a good offense coming from Opus Day. I'm not expecting uh, that curse circle. Like, he actually caught the second and the third level of this um, of stairs. And uh, there's actually a good follow-up coming from a few of the Opus Day uh, players as well. It's just um, Adonis has the advantage oh. of that. Ooh. Sword! Sword has six members! Oh. Really? So three Royal Guards? What? Oh. A new, go, go to the entrance right now, though, Energy. Recruit. This is pretty interesting. Come a on, new recruit. go, go, go. Oh, Sword okay. has three Royal Guards. That's pretty interesting right there. And uh, uh, this the... is like, yeah, this is like really annoying. Like, if they have the same, almost same items of uh, bad drop, this is oh, gonna be really no. dangerous to other guilds. Yeah, bad drop is a uh, pretty tanky, but yeah, probably guilds have already found a way to counter what a uh, bad drop strategy <laughs> and gears are. Yeah. So if the royal guards or dif uh, the other royal guards that are supporting bad drop also has a different uh, build or gears. Mm -hmm. They could probably do so much more things. Yes. And, uh, you know, defeat more players wow. right there. All right. So, Sebe oh. Allen, uninvited guest for free almighty. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The uninvited guest is also a good event. Again, the the slaves, the escape slaves that you can uh, capture. You can uh, buy a lot of items with that JMT candy. Free costumes. You can get some infinite infinity drinks, uh, some almighties, some guyak puddings as well. Mm -hmm. So you can uh, buy them from the uninvited guests event. Yeah. So said by Gabriel right here, wondering what the new monster spotlight in the future will be. Well, you can suggest some things, maybe you know, uh, like water. GGH elements. can take a look, right? or maybe the like new December. One. Or maybe plants, you know? Don't know. Spotlights. Like, any prediction? Like, December is kind of, like, cold or something? Yeah, maybe? so, it, it depends. It depends. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, you know, uh, <laughs> having a... Uh, the spotlights is actually a pretty good idea, you know? It makes... Uh, it eases up the leveling for a lot of players. Especially when I level up my Ascend characters. <laughs> Which ascend the, the next level event has ended already, by the way, guys. Yeah, it has ended 
and uh, last Sunday. Mm-hmm. All right, it's last Sunday, eleven fifty-nine p.m. or when that uh, when that at uh, twelve o'clock a.m. <laughs> Monday, the event has already ended. All right. Yeah, yeah. So for those of you guys who managed to level up a lot of characters for send the next level event, I believe you all benefited from the the Halloween spotlight event as well. Yeah. It's pretty pretty good. Pretty much um, a good experience. Plus the fifty percent. And a good idea one. as well. That, that's that's actually a good idea. Um, yeah. to have that on our server because, again, um, they actually like featuring certain maps as well, right? So hopefully uh we can have another one this coming uh December maybe. Like it's gonna be really good. Yeah, you know, MG, because of the the Halloween spotlight event. More people are in glass time, <laughs> which you you rarely see anyone in glass oh, time before. Oh, wait, wait. I thought right. this is I thought this this is CMM. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, okay, but the the debate yeah, 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 the, yeah. the debate the debate is still ongoing, guys. Yeah. Who do you think will win? Is it going to be MG's Ninja or CMM's uh, Gypsy? <laughs> which MG's Ninja is not even created, by the way, guys. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> All right. Who do you think will win the battle if they ever have a one versus one? Like seriously, I cannot win if I'm using a road on that one. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you will. Wait, win. I'm serious. I'm serious. But, hmm. Maybe, maybe if it's a stalker, it can probably have a chance. But if it's a rogue, no. Yeah. <laughs> you won't have a chance. Anyway, Adon is finally beginning to push out. Maybe they just got <laughs> bored there at the imp room. Yes. Because uh, they weren't pushing in, and uh, no one was pushing in to their castle right now. So they're probably going to push oh. out, and they did so, eliminating everyone from the entrance right there. And uh, they're probably going to wait for more players to push in. We still have 40 minutes more left in our War of Imperium Let's session go. for tonight as Opus Day. Some of our members are there. Hallucination Walk on the side. Will we see an Arrow Storm or uh, probably a lot more skills getting casted on the side of Adonis right here sword no aftershock <laughs> back there rolling cutters on the portal and the magnetic earth getting casted right here aftershock just preparing themselves Ooh. no not a lot of players right there coming from uh you know the opposing guild uh, opposing guilds of Adonis but you can see that they are just trying to go in and they are not actually pushing in together they are going in one by <laughs> one you know like an audition so that's yes. why they're probably having a little bit of a hard time right there but if they are you know they coordinated well on whoever goes yes. first that's going, to go, that's going to be a good option as well especially if they're dealing with the castle with a magnetic or um, a Loki's <laughs> veil or a classical block yep it's uh, best for them to make their tanky members go in first, followed by, um, you know, um, a little bit of some DPS or support. Then, after that, their DPS goes in, followed by supports as well, some squishy support. So, it's probably, you know, it probably depends on how you coordinate your team well or your guilds well. So classical block landing on the floor right now at the entrance of this castle. I'm not pretty really sure what they are planning to do right here for Aftershock, <laughs> Opus Day, and Infix Report. Well, I think uh, right now they're just trying to uh, have a standard positioning right now. Because the more that they actually do, uh, do this, the more uh, I mean, the more that they can actually perfect it, right? So I think uh, this is actually um, like a really good practice for them. Like setting up um, classical block, or uh, aftershock moving on the north side, or post day on the right side. You know, setting the uh, the the proper positioning for all of the guilds is actually really good. So I think that's the one that they're trying to do right now, having a standard uh, push and uh, placement on the on the map. Yes, as a dominari is going back in, I'm not sure why. Um, they slowed down for a bit in their push in fact maybe someone was attacking holy shadow castle earlier so that's why they backed down hmm because the last last time i actually saw like one player coming from that uh three guilds called that uh i mean there is like certain time that they're gonna this person uh capture their own own castle mm -hmm. 
So I'm not sure this is if this is the uh, like the proper minutes to do that. Well, you know, we still have around um, 35 more minutes yeah. left in Warp Imperium. So it's not really the time for guilds to settle down. They can still have uh, more battles if, if they want to. As Opus Day, you know, they have a, they have a hold of this castle right now. As uh, Dominari, some of their members are pushing in Opus Day as well. But uh, I believe Adonis isn't really done with uh, this battle in this castle because, again, uh, this is the castle that uh, they made their home. All right. Actually. If Arsenal made their, if Arsenal made Kremhill their home, this is Adonis' home, Fadgrid. <laughs> yes. And I actually really miss uh, Arsenal. Like I really ha uh, miss how they actually uh, play on the, on the uh, on the scene on the uh, Warf Imperium. Maybe just at the moment I think they're just having a quick break. But yeah, start going back to the topic that uh, this castle. Um, yes, definitely Adonis is actually uh, one of those guilds who is who I think who mastered the uh, the the place or every uh, cells on this castle. So yeah, I'm not sure where is Adonis as well. So. Yeah, MG. <laughs> Take a look at the latest comment. Wait, what? See if Emmy said something. Oh, <laughs> that's why oh! he suddenly love. <laughs> oh, okay. What? Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> so is it is it official now? Like, let's go. <laughs> All right. So CM Emmy said she's late to the game, but. Hashtag Team CMME Goodbye MG. Oh my god. Is that a formal challenge? <laughs> oh no. So it's a uh, oh. Goodbye MG now. Oh my god. Like... Okay, okay, okay. So ah. you're probably not going to win MG. I'm pretty dude, sure. Dude. Okay. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Later. I'm gonna make my ninja. What? I'm gonna make All my right. ninja. Yeah. Let's go. It's official. You should, you should, you should. You it's should just make your ninja right it's now. It's official, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, this is going to be battle hashtag Team TMM or hashtag Team MG. Who will win MG's ninja or uh, CMME's uh, gypsy? Alright. <laughs> I'm pretty sure MG won't win, but yeah, okay. <laughs> Uh, I will take this as a sign to uh, for me to strive hard, practice well, and focus on my roles to get my goals. Ah, oh, okay, that right. Here we that go. Rhymes. Uh huh. But Adonis, right now you can see some of their members are just scouting in. Classical Pluck is on the floor, <laughs> yes, you can see right there. And I think this is the <laughs> the defense yes, that yes. Uh, Opus Day after shock. <laughs> And Infinix Reborn was practicing earlier. They're putting it to the test right now <laughs> in this castle. Yes. This is actually really good. Like earlier on the first phase, we saw there's uh, this defense set up on an open field fight wherein there is a lot of like open cells to move on. But on this case, they only have like uh, one, two, three, I think four cells. Plus, they need to deal with the classical block, plus the storm gust, plus some uh, ground control players as well. I think this is going to be really hard. Uh, Defense to penetrate. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, a pretty solid defense coming from uh, of the, this alliance right there. <laughs> but again, if they get pushed by a Goyak right here, uh, there where the Axornator is getting casted right there, uh, no vacuums there on the floor. I don't see any vacuums getting casted, but a spam <laughs> of Diamond Dust, I think, right there. Uh, is that Diamond Dust or a Ice Launcher getting casted? Or I think I believe this it's an Ice Launcher getting yes, casted yes, by yes. Mechanics right there. And you can see Opus Day just making sure they have um, they are on in a different spot. They're at a different balcony. Or another spot in that balcony, <laughs> just uh, making sure to cast different skills as well. So there will be two stacks. They're at the entrance for the first defense, and when they push in, Opus Day or the other group of Opus Opus Day members will be at the right side just dealing more DPS against those who actually push in. So this will be a, a good push. Whoever decides to push in on uh, this castle right here or in Fad Grid right now mm -hmm. is going to have, probably have a difficult time. Yeah, yeah. Like a good defense here. I think uh, the only uh, problem that they're, gonna, that they're gonna have here is if they're gonna AFK. 
So, in this defense, the only uh, downside is if you're like ground players are AFK or if your supports are kind of AFK. That's actually uh, the only uh, thing that you need to be uh, careful on this one. Yes. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> All right. So here's the thing, MG. You got you got betrayed again because Michelle is now openly supporting <laughs> CMM. -y. All right. So you lost the fan. She, she just converted Dude, into an CMME fan on, right guys. now. <laughs> Michelle, <I> thought... <laughs> All right. We're schoolmates before. Remember the the, the online <laughs> betrayal. <laughs> Real time why, are you, why, are you, why are you using the schoolmate card? Come on, MG. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, I'm just gonna send you a PM later, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, CMM said, I'm kidding, guys. MG plans, please don't come after me. <laughs> oh no. Nah. Hashtag Team MG. <laughs> oh no. And Alan, Alan is a hashtag Team MG as well. <laughs> hashtag waiting for coupon codes MG. Okay. Since, uh, okay, since uh, Alan is a, uh, what do you call this? Uh, Team MG, let's put a coupon code. <laughs> okay, here we go. Coupon codes, I'm sorry guys if uh, you know the coupon codes or the codes right there at the lower right portion of our screen is kind of, is a little <laughs> bit late. But yeah, you'll be, you'll be getting more codes <laughs> soon and yeah, what are the items you can get from the codes, MG? Can you tell our viewers right now? Yes. This is a pretty, u very, very useful, especially for leveling up and, you know, uh, leveling up your character. Yep. So, MG. guys, once you actually uh, use the codes, guys, you will be getting three pieces of battle manual, three pieces of jab manual, ten pieces of uh, level 10 blessing scroll, ten pieces of level 10 agi scroll, plus... Five pieces of Mystic Powder and five pieces of Tears Blessing. Yes. Yes. All right. Uh, very, very good items, especially you know when uh, people level up in the ascend the uh, the level, the next level event. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much useful if you if you <laughs> lack the the necessary EXP manuals <laughs> that you need. Yeah. Because if you're going to level up a very very hard character, like for example a Sage. It's very useful to have a, um, you know, uh, you know, to get items from these codes, especially the battles and the job battles. Yeah, yeah. Very, very useful, I can say. Um, uh, because because I ran out of I ran out ran out of manuals when I was leveling my sage, you know. Yes, including so the uh, the scrolls as well, especially if you're like really alone on uh, on leveling, right? So those scrolls are really good as well, just to uh, give that extra speed as well. Um, to give uh, to get that agi and uh, blessing as well, so it's really useful. A must have, actually. I really, really must have, as you can see right here. Sword <laughs> Guild is now going um, inside for their attempt to actually attack oh. the leaders here. Sword the trying to go in the along confidence. with the member of Adonis, just trying to survive here. The the Loki's or the classical Pollock got removed, but it got recasted right now. In Phoenix Reborn, still up in the battle, or maybe. They purposely removed that to actually, uh, you know, cast those skills. But they are going to push out Dragon's Breath. No, Infinix Reborn. A little bit of brave here, a brave soul for this Infinix Reborn uh, Guillotine Cross right there. I think if someone is going to push out, it must come from Opus Day because the flag is just there. Yeah. So if uh, I don't recommend the, the aftershock and the Infinix Reborn members to push in as well because again, flag is not going to be. In their favor they're not going to be able to use those flags and uh, they will just have a hard time pushing <laughs> in because here at the entrance of this castle a don or rather dominari is holding the entrance yep i think uh that uh, gx is really confident he's just confident enough i think okay so right now uh curse circle coming from adonis adonis right adonis? now is trying to sweep the forces of Dominari. Dominari is trying to hold. Atoy, on the other hand, is, is trying to sustain the damage coming from Adonis. And Adonis right now is going to move on on the next uh, map or on the next floor. <laughs> yeah, I, know, I don't know. Atoy is pretty tanky. I, is tanky. I saw him survive a lot of battles right there. He is, Just surviving all alone while casting multiple skills as well. 
Anyway, I don't know what's the build of. Maybe Atoy has MVP cards on hand. Maybe. We don't know. Maybe he has a GTB or mm -hmm. some Ghost Ring cards mm -hmm. on hand as well. Yeah. It's probably a good thing to have those equipped. <laughs> Yep. To, for you to survive more in battle but of course you should also have that unfrozen so probably just a good potion management as well can yes. uh, bring you more survivability in game yes okay so i think uh, the attempt is gonna come from adonis right now opus day is uh is actually aware that adonis is here and Adonis is gonna move up here and let's see if Opus Day and uh, other guilds can uh, actually uh, neutral barrier? sustain. Booyak? Okay, I need to move, I need to move. No, no, no boom, no suicide destruction no. coming from uh, Adonis right there. Curse Circle landing actually on the stack there of Opus Day while uh, disabling here the, the backlane Tiger Cannon will get casted right there by the Sura Ooh. of Adonis, but no. They won't be able to penetrate the defense here of Opus Day after Shock and Infinix Reborn. And as you can see, I think the, the mechanic of uh, Opus Day, or, or rather Adonis, got locked up as he was about to push in. Yeah. I saw him with that neutral barrier just uh, using the, I believe, that Guyak to push in mm -hmm. um, so far. But I believe maybe a Curse Circle landed yeah. because we actually did see. Uh, Curse Circle probably landed or... It's actually a Curse Circle. Uh, Curse yeah, Curse Circle. Yeah, yeah Curse Circle landed, just dis disabling him. And he wasn't able to push that or put down that suicidal destruction as well. So, <laughs> what a great hold coming from Opus Day, Everix Reborn, and Aftershock. Yes, uh, that's actually a good um, anticipation coming from Opus Day. The moment that they saw that uh, they actually locked up that uh, mechanic on the side of uh, Adonis, they immediately went to the mechanic and take him down. So, that was a really good reaction coming from Opus Day. Very, very good reaction indeed. As you know, Opus Day still has a chance to defend this, but without their other members or Infix Reborn and uh, Aftershock members, it's going to be probably a little bit difficult for them. Or maybe they can hold it a little bit out while they are waiting for you know their um, their alliance members to go back in. Mm -hmm. As Adonis is actually pushing in once again right now. MG can go out for now. MG, there you go. I'll just change the code. All right. Okay. So codes <laughs> will get replaced right there because <laughs> Alan just said MG the coupon got stolen. Someone took it already. <laughs> oh, that's very and very unfortunate the for snipers. you, Alan. The snipers. Mm -hmm. Some uh, some fast hands. Fast hands. Fast hands. Fast eyes. Just uh, typing in the codes as they see it. <laughs> Adonis just trying to deal with Back Vadrak home. right here. Neutral Barrier, Diamond Dust. And King's Race will get Cassie right here. Fireball Lock. But B -wing. will be wing out because uh, I believe he already got disabled by Adonis right there. Yeah, I have a question. Like, is there like a movement penalty for a uh, neutral barrier? Like if you uh, casted it? I think no, right? I believe I I'm not a mechanic expert, but I believe there is no movement penalty. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Because, uh, again, uh, Mechanic has a lot more skills that they can use. They can utilize a lot more skills. Alright, so Adonis, I'm not sure why they are going out. Maybe because some of their members cannot go in. <laughs> mm -hmm. Players are probably just waiting outside or in the entrance. So Wait, they have more members now. Oh, yeah, they are just preparing to push what? in. So they, maybe they just went for their teammate who just got stuck there in the entrance. <laughs> To, yeah. make, to make sure that he doesn't get eliminated as he went in. So they are going to push together right here. Opus Day. Some of them are scouting out. I believe this is not a good move for that Sura to actually do that. They because need to flag again right away. Opus Day will lose one more member because of uh, that scout. So yes, if yes. he actually flags in very, very quickly, he will be able to get back in before Adonis will reach uh this spot or that uh the preempt yep so i think uh opus day right now is aware that adonis is about to reach their stack here i'm not sure if aftershock and infinix is with them with this uh defense so this is gonna be an interesting fight between uh, adonis and opus day yes very very <laughs> interesting indeed as adonis 
slowly but surely making sure they have enough space to attack the castle of Opus Dei right now. I'm not sure what's happening to the <laughs> castle of Opus Dei right now, if it's really still set, if it's still intact. Yeah. Because again, that they lost a lot of members, a lot of some of them were pushed out. And uh Infinix Reborn and uh what they call oh. this uh, aftershock is not here anymore. Opus Day, Psychic Wave getting cancelled on the floor, and uh, Adon is just wiping out the town. It's pretty difficult for them to defend this castle without aftershock there yes. as well. So Opus Day will get eliminated by Adonis. So Adonis has a free take on this castle, but but that's a uh, getting cross coming from Fratless is still there. Yep. And uh, they are going to break this castle right now. I think uh, that's Adonis who is breaking that castle. As uh, you know, they are going to set up their defense here mm-hmm. in Fadrid, and they are probably, or the alliance is probably going to move on to a different castle yes. with another guild just taking a castle for themselves. And if they want to maximize um, the, their the resources they can get in Warf Imperium, especially because you can get a lot, a lot, yes, mm-hmm. a lot from the treasure chest uh, that uh, gets spawned mm-hmm. every Warf Imperium. You know, you can. Uh, Try to reap a lot of benefits. Definitely, every warfare. Yes, and especially um, we are actually aware that uh, most right now most of the guilds is really active on the clash, and uh, the supplies is not a, is is actually a no joke. Like, just imagine if you're gonna play like Sura, how many uh, like Yggdrasil uh, seeds that you can actually spend in in one uh, in one push versus on defending as well. Like how many white pots or blue pots that you can actually uh, spend if you're a royal guard and and so on, so they need to uh, you know get some resources as well to fill up those um, those supplies in order for them to fight uh, longer battles. Yes, uh, sword sword will be the contender here in this castle right now. I'm pretty excited for sword actually, MG. Yes, uh, they are a pretty small guild. And I believe uh, they just move as a team. <laughs> They're like a seven versus seven guild. <laughs> Actually, right? I'm about to say that. They're like a seven versus seven guild, but they're just six members right now with two royal guards. <coughs> Maybe if that royal guard became a rune knight, it's going to be two marinated riders. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. quick fact about them. I actually uh, last stream that I have for Warf Imperium, I tried to find their save save point area, <laughs> and I'm planning to apply, but. I can fly the sword, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like I keep on mentioning this on uh, on my couple of uh, on our streams before. Like if I'm gonna do a War of Imperium, I'm gonna join Sword, but apparently I cannot see their save point. So ah, oh, yeah. okay. So maybe some some of the Sword members are watching the stream right now. Yeah. Let hey, MG, Sword, let MG uh, be the disgrace. <laughs> of <her>. <laughs> <laughs> the, the wild, the wild card class, <laughs> should I say, the wild card class. Rogue. The, the very, very <laughs> wild class or rogue. wild card class rogue uh, sword is prepared to push in. No, three, four, five, six. Okay, so only six members. Really, is this a sign members. like I'm gonna be the seventh member of sword? Maybe, maybe. <laughs> as they are preparing to push in right now, first one will go is the royal guard. Royal oh, guard will just try and secure king trace. Will get casted right there. Sword is actively we can sustain pushing it. in. Windmill getting casted, masquerade oh, no. by Adonis as sword. Probably survived that. Can you go out? Okay, so they probably survived some of the attacks here coming from Adonis. So both royal guards, I think, uh, got uh, disabled and uh, fell down to yeah. battle. All right. Diamond. As they are going to prepare, maybe another push right here in Fadrid. As I think oh. Aftershock, Infinix Reborn, and Obus Day went on to different castles right now. Yeah. Again, as I mentioned earlier, to secure more things or more castles for, um, you know, their uh, their guild. Yes, definitely. Mm-hmm. I mean, again, they've been really active on the uh, on defending and pushing as well. So definitely, their the supply the supply count that they have actually uh, went really low on those mm-hmm. uh, attacks and defense. Yes. Actually, while uh, Sword Guild is right here, I actually saw where Opus Day is. Uh, they have a defense set up here at the spot. So, um, some of them are in Nushwanstein. 
And uh, some of them are in the Aldebaran castles right there. As Adonis, I think, will just try and hold this <laughs> castle for themselves. Bright Arbor is uh, held by Fratis, but I'm not sure if there are people inside because... Let me um, check Bright Arbor. Yeah. Yeah, you can check Nushuan's thing first. Because I saw some people there. While I'm checking out different castles. Where are you guys? So let us uh, show you in the stream. You know? Oh, they're gonna break it. Alright. I'm not really sure there are people in different spots, but as I'm doing my own scouting, I can see a lot of uh, these guilds just trying to secure their own spots. Again, Warf Imperium is no joke. You will use a lot of potions, and this is going to be quite uh, difficult for the guilds if they don't have enough supplies. Yeah. Like, to be fair, I actually used a rogue last time, right? Even mm -hmm. if I'm using a rogue, like, I need to to have a consistent um, items on top of me. Like, for example, the scrolls. Especially if there is no um, AB available to buff you or Archbishop to buff you. So, mm -hmm. you need to keep up with the team as well. So, you need those um, backup items just in case. Mm. Yes, and actually, I saw where... Uh... Oh, somebody attacked. Oh, oh this, this is Scarlet. No, no. Oh, this, this is Scarlet. This, this, this Scarlet. This Scarlet, Scarlet. Scarlet, Scarlet. Yes. And actually, um, there in uh, Bright Arbor, I saw Nonsense there, actually, inside. So, actually, let's let's showcase Nonsense Guild for a little bit right there. I think um, they're defending that castle. Oh. Nice. Some of the Nonsense members, maybe they're just... Uh, you know, uh, trying to secure some supplies for their guild, like I mentioned earlier. Yeah. So if they're going to secure some of those supplies, I think this is going to, this is going to be beneficial for their guild as well, because again, they can um, they can get more things. You know, in Warf Imperium, in Warf Imperium, there are um, you know each uh, the each uh, each castle spawn like Warf Imperium potions, each yeah. supply boxes. High weapon boxes, War of Imperium weapon boxes, jewelry boxes, and so much more. And they also spawn, or are they are there also um, special rewards from the treasure chest there, such as Ender yes. of the Sun, Sun God in Scarlet Palace, Snow Crystal in Kremhild, Wrath of Valky in Referion, and uh, each castle has their own special reward. Yes. And uh, yeah, um,. For Nonsense Guild right here, MG, Nonsense has been uh, pretty much low-key for a long time right now, yeah. but uh, during events, that's where they shine the most. Yes. I think uh, last Saturday as well, they, they're kind of... I mean, they're present as well, right? But right now, if you check in their lineup, they have uh, multiple GX, they have the, uh, the Ranger as well. So definitely, uh, this lineup is kind of like break and defend uh, type of lineup so they have uh, they have like a, a burst potential on breaking uh, imperiums and they have uh, one warlock and uh, minstrel for those uh, dragons bruh yes. so I think uh, they have uh, kind of decent uh, defense mm -hmm. and here in uh, <laughs> actually you know they are securing a lot of castles here for opus day one in new oh! Stone. Ohen Shuang Go, I think, is wow. also. What? Oh, so maybe that's the, yeah, the yeah, one. This is the Warlock who wiped um, Aftershock the, earlier. Yeah, yeah, the one in Fadgrid Castle. The one who's, who wants to eat first. Yeah. What? A very, very dangerous sorcerer indeed. But yeah, I, I see a lot of Opus Day members secure some uh, Aldebaran castles. So. So they're pretty much all set here. So if they are going to try and secure the castles here, this is going to be beneficial for their guild. Again, if Opus Day is starting out, War of Imperium potions or those supplies they can get from, uh, you know, the castles. Yeah. In War of Imperium, it's it's pretty much beneficial for for their guild because again, supplies supplies are a big thing. I believe even you, you cannot survive if yes. your supplies are that low. You won't, uh, you won't enjoy Warf Imperium. Yes, 
I think uh, those actually um, those items are very uh, like one of the essential that you, essentials that you need in order for mm-hmm. you to perform better in War of Imperium. Because again, mm-hmm. if you're gonna like play it like uh, like playing it like super, you're not gonna spend anything. I mean, you're not gonna enjoy anything, man. Because eventually, every class is gonna spend out multiple buffs or multiple uh, healing um, items as well in order for them to perform properly. Yes. As uh, there actually, um, I think Yushuan's thing got attacked. Because uh, earlier, I saw, so, so I saw some Opus Day members there, but they're not there anymore. And Fadgrid also got attacked <coughs> because uh, it was held by Adonis yes, earlier. Adonis. But it's now taken by Last Nightmare? Really? Yeah, actually. Uh, yeah, I actually saw Bersiculo in uh, New uh, in Britannia, somewhere in Britannia earlier. Infix Reborn? Jeff and Geffen Cat? So I think the Alliance is probably going to try and occupy different castles for, for their guild. You know, again, to secure more <coughs> treasure chests. Like what I mentioned earlier. Yeah. The treasure chest, yeah. those, uh, those treasure chest spawn are important. So I believe just securing all of those is really good. Yes. But I'm anyway. Kinda, yes. But I'm kind of yeah, curious yeah. as well on the uh, distribution of castles as well. Oh, Shadow? Wait, what? Who's oh, oh, going in? Oh, oh Adonis! No! Adonis is pushing Sneaky. in. Sneaky! Uh, Holy Shadow Castle right now, as you can see. Just in, in a nice scouting, MG. Just on time. You actually saw things happen. As uh, Adonis is going to push the castle right now of Dominari. They were able to take out some of the members there at the entrance. But will get wiped out there. As Dominari is really prepared. I believe that no one survived coming from Adonis. They're really just prepared. For uh, the attack probably coming from Adonis. A surprise attack, but uh, no, maybe not really a surprise for Dominari because they, it was... Uh, they, they get attacked like this. <laughs> probably because because, <laughs> well, because of what Nonsense did. You know? Before MG. Yes, 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 yes. Nonsense did this a lot of times before. Uh, followed by Last Nightmare. They did this as well. So far as they got close... <laughs> to the preamp area so this is probably not something new for dominari yes, yes. so they are they're probably prepared for these kinds of things to happen but again it's actually really nice to see that like adonis is trying to contest the defense of uh, dominari as well i think mm-hmm. this is actually one of the one of the tests uh, of their strength when it comes to offense in the same time on coordination as well we saw uh, a good push coming from Adonis, but again, the the regroup capability of Dominari is still, you know, on top. That's why they can actually recover immediately on that push. Oof. But if you're probably successful in your attack, if you're probably able to take down this castle, uh, an Imperium Break will only reduce it that the castle's economy by 5. Mm-hmm. So if they manage to break this Imperium and take this for their own, you know, they still have 95 economy. They can yeah. still, uh, you know, try and get uh, the most out of the treasure chest there in that castle. Definitely. But yeah, it's going to be pretty hard because, again, the economy will also boost the HP of that Imperium and the defense of that Imperium for that matter. So the higher the economy, the harder it is to break that Imperium. Yes. But again, yes. I think uh, Dominar is trying to recover now. I think they have a... Actually, it's a wake-up call for them. Like, okay. We need to be. Yeah, let's uh, let, let's let's not leave our castle. Yeah, yeah let's not. Like, last, let's not last, leave last few minutes. We can still last do few this. minutes uh, because if we get a, <clears throat> if someone <throat> manages to break this imperium, <clears throat> oh no, oh no, let's, oh no. One more, uh, one more, uh, no, one more coffee. <laughs> one more oh. cup of coffee. <laughs> All right. Oh no. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, we only have around seven uh, minutes left, uh, left in our. Third War from Prime Session, MG. Yes. How about you mention to our viewers about your favorite buff for this month of November? Ooh, the buff for November. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
So let's go ahead and uh, check out the buff right now. Let me uh, go ahead and pull off the buff of all buff, guys. Here we go. Okay. So guys, don't forget the buff for this November. From November 1 to uh, 30th of November, recharge your G-Enjoy account via Razor Gold Wallet and get in-game items such as Costume of Vesper Headgear or Costume Yawata Seal for free. I hope I mentioned that correctly. Okay, for uh, <laughs> November promotions, you will get the following. Okay, for Tier 1, that's 5,000 KP with Razor Gold Wallet. You can actually score Costume of Best per Headgear. And for Tier 2, 30,000 KP with Razor Gold Wallet, you can score the Yawata Seal. Okay, so all you need to do if you want to uh, recharge your uh, Razor Wallet, all you need to do is just go to www.genjoy.asia forward slash top up. And if you want to know more, you can actually check the pinned comments, the score, and our website. Yes, so Sepik Gabriel actually right here. Adonis lost that surprise attack because that solo sorcerer entered the same Dominary castle. They went in and backstabbed them. Oh, oh. I, I agree. That that sorcerer's damage is pretty, pretty She's much. good. It's really good. It's pretty strong, right? Like just imagine Maybe... one stack of uh, aftershock got wiped out in one skill. Maybe Celine is also. <clears throat> he, maybe that sorcerer also knows Celine. Right? <laughs> the best friend of Celine. The best friend of Celine, right? Because if you know Celine, if and if you're a magic caster, you're probably uh You probably like, know. Wait, her. can Celine be equipped by Sorcerer? Anyway, I <laughs> I know Warlocks usually is a best friend of Celine. Yep. Anyway, maybe that uh that sorcerer is really well equipped. So that's why the damage is pretty much strong. Or Adonis or Maybe the members of Aftershock earlier doesn't have that much M def. That's why they got really eliminated by a single <laughs> skill. Or maybe multiple skills coming from that sorcerer, but just has that uh, uh, magic strings buff. Alright? Yes. Actually. Anyway, hmm. MG, we only have four more minutes left before our current Warrior from Parham session ends. Just a reminder for everyone, guys, tomorrow is the quarter finals of ragnarok asia masters all right yes. so like what like what we mentioned earlier these are the top eight teams who are competing for the ragnarok asia masters and fortunately for ggh we have two um teams who actually push through to the quarter finals which is uh dom two teams of dominari yes. so the matches for tomorrow will be obliviate versus wrist Walang Sangit Ka versus Dominari. Scroll down right now, MG. KTF versus 85% Fictive and Dominari versus Arcane. And this is going to be one heck of a quarterfinals. Yeah. And again, all of these matches will happen tomorrow, Wednesday, November 16, 2022. 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. and that's uh 21 o'clock to 2 23 o'clock all right so make yeah. sure to stay tuned for that quarterfinals of ragnarok asian masters again this is going to be a tough battle for hopefully let's hope for the ggh teams and let's uh cheer for the ggh teams of course to push through or if you're a fan of the ggl teams who are competing oh. uh also in um they're, they're, they're breaking sword. the uh... Uh, you're, you're, the, 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 the bracket is still up. It's oh, time. Okay. So they, they, they got through. They actually got through. Vadra? <clears throat> is, is, is this, is this Holy Shadow? Yeah, this is Holy okay, Shadow. Okay, so, so someone saw them. Someone saw them though. They got spotted as they are oh, breaking the Imperium the right now. Will we see, will we see a break? Will we see an exchange? Is this... Is he gonna break the? Uh... This is just this is just solo Vadrak just trying to break that Imperium solo. Diamond dust. Diamond dust. Moon that slasher? spell actually went out, but he's still just trying to survive Vadrak all alone. Curse circle will land, and uh, Dominari. Wow. Their members just went in. Oh my goodness. Wow. If if that Imperium broke at the last second, <coughs> gosh, that will be. That's gonna that be a first. That's gonna be a first. Yeah. 
Yeah, that oh. will be huge though. That will be huge. Anyway, as I was uh, talking about earlier, before we got surprised <laughs> by the sword members <laughs> attacking this castle. Gosh, uh, that's speechless. <laughs> they don't have any defense inside. Uh -huh. Alright, anyway, Gabriel mentioned could be Swark was marrying Celine Ribbon and Mob Scarf. Can just imagine the numbers uh, damage, right? Yeah, it it, <coughs> it probably would have been a, a a scary, 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 scary damage scary. output yeah. coming from that sorcerer. And yeah, if you're a best friend, of, if you're a caster, and if you're a best friend of Celine, you can probably deal a lot of damage. Celine. All right. <laughs> if Celine is your best friend, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Anyway. MG, a few more minutes left before our warm premiere session ends. Again, like what I mentioned earlier, Ragnarok Asia Asian Masters tomorrow. Let's go! Uh, Wednesday, November 16, 2022, 9 to 11pm, GMT Plus 8. If you're a fan of the teams who are in the top 8 right now, please go ahead and tune into the live stream tomorrow and cheer for them. Only here at the Ragnarok Online GGH <laughs> page, it will be live as well. And I do also want to <laughs> mention that the pre-registration is out for Ragnarok Online Arena, yes. so make sure to check out check oh. that out as well. Uh, vis go visit the website roa.gnjoy.asia and uh, pre-register right now. It's an SRPG or strategy, um, strategy RPG. RPG. Yes. It's uh, on mobile, and uh, you know you can play. You can have your um, the a taste of Ragnarok while the you're taste. out. Mm. Yeah, while you're out and uh, doing a lot of things or while working, you can probably play Ragnarok Arena. So please do. Please do pre register right now. It's still up. And uh, yeah, there are milestones as well for Aru Arena. So go check that out as well. Mm -hmm. The page, uh, the Facebook page of Ragnarok Arena is Ragnarok Arena Global. So check it out. And there's also a Discord for. ROA as well. Anyway, Warf Imperium is over and yeah, Ragnarok Asia Masters tomorrow, MG. A yes. lot of things will happen. More free code, James. Shout out to Nimrod Guild, the number one boss hunter in GGH server. Oh, Nimrod. Alright, so free codes. Maybe we'll be giving out uh, more codes as we Actually, that's the last talk code. about a few, yeah. few things before we end the stream. Alright? <clears throat> Yeah. Uh, and yeah, on the first day, it's going to be maintenance, <clears throat> like what uh, we measured earlier. And uh, <laughs> some update notes are inputted or there in Discord as well. Yep. So it's under announcement or events. Um, there's going to be a Pat the Pets event. Uh, so it's going to be something pretty good. And there will be a cute pet update. Alright, so for those uh, pet lovers out there. Pet lovers. So, um, more chances for you to get those uh, pets that have effects. Nice. That can benefit in your leveling or probably in PvP as well or in War from Perium. So, just check it out. Alright? Yes. Okay. Uh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Rack the Rock. Ragnarok Asia Masters, guys. Asia I'm telling Masters you. Tomorrow. tomorrow, please tune in here at Ragnarok Online GGH page. Ragnarok Asia Masters, 9 to 11 p.m. GMT plus 8. And one, it is, it's going to be one amazing part of finals, Definitely. I can tell. Definitely. Mm -hmm. MG, anything you want to add? Um, Yeah, just uh, tune in tomorrow, guys. Make sure to uh, bring a lot of uh, food because, again, that's going to be an insane fight between... Uh, the GGL plus our two remaining GGH guilds, which is uh, Dominari. So let's go ahead and cheer for them. And um, let's hope for the best that uh, the Dominari guilds are uh, can actually go for the top four. So we're actually uh, crossing our fingers to uh, to have that GGH uh, guild representative, or representative yeah. for the top four. So yeah, that's mm -hmm. it for me. Yes, although it's going to be tough for the GGH teams to compete against the GGL teams who have more experience. Let's hope for the best, of course, if you're a fan of the Dominary teams competing for tomorrow uh, yes. for the GGH uh, representatives right there. Anyway, 
that's going to be it for us. Uh, since MG did the introduction earlier, I'm going to Thank do the guys. outro as usual. Maybe the next time MG can also do yeah, yeah, the yeah, outro. Yeah. I- I'm gonna as pro- well. I'm gonna practice again. <laughs> all right, and yeah, that's going to be it for tonight. Thank you all for watching. Shoutouts to everyone in the chat. Hopefully, we get more interactions with you guys later on. Again, Thursday will be maintenance. I think it will be followed by a tough talk. <laughs> On, uh, I like that. I at like that. night Tough on Thursday as well. Again, Dragon Rock Asia Masters tomorrow night to 11 p.m. Uh, next Warf Imperium live stream is going to be on Tuesday or next week, 9 to 11 p.m. as well. Anyway, that's going to be it. Thank you all for watching. And once again, we are your casters. My name is James. And my name is MG. And we'll see you guys again next time. Bye, guys. <laughs>